Hey, good evening. It's really great to have you here. Tonight we're going to be listening to Polyphia's Playing God. What I know about this group is that they're a combination of different genres of music without a vocalist. I'm pretty sure it's two guitarists, a bassist, and a drummer. And I'm just really excited to listen to them. I've heard nothing but amazing things about them. So let's just dive into it. Technicality. Woo! Oh, yeah. Oh, it has that Spanish flair, too. Oh, yeah. Woo! These arpeggios, man. Oh, what a flow. Yeah. I love how they're around the drummer, too. They're all just... Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I love how they're feeling this. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, these harmonies. Woo! Woo! Nice tonal shift. I love it when musicians can just feel their music. They don't have to hyper fixate on, on their own instrument. They can just, they're so skilled that they can just vibe with it. But these drums, yeah. Nice crescendo through that. And this whistle, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Get it. Those chromaticisms. Oh, yeah. Woo. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Oh my god, what a ride! Love those lamps. Whew. That was amazing! Some things that I really, really digged about that. First thing I want to talk about is just outside of the music, the lighting and the theming of each particular section was very apt to the kind of music that it was that was being played. In that beginning, you get this really grand, really broad type of aesthetic. You really don't know what to expect aside from this really hard music to come through. And by the mixing of multiple genres, I was definitely able to hear that Spanish, that Spanish flair, Spanish guitar. The bassist, oh man, that was so foundationally consistent and strong. Loved that. The drums, really, really good, really clean, very technical. What are the names of the, of the guitars? Scott LePage and Tim Henson. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Amazing. So technical, so complex. You got that kind of metal-y vibe with a nice jazz overtone and 
and rock a little mixed in there and wow and, and the way that that song was composed oh my gosh how do i even express it let's just go back and do the analysis of it i like this kind of clothed little bit muted sound that they have in the beginning here yeah and it grows Woo. Yeah, and you can just see how he feels it, too. Ba -da -da -da. Yeah. Ooh, and just that heavy, just bass note. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. And just immediately hitting into that, those high strings. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Hear those drums, man! So technical, but you're you're also just so focused on this insane rift going off on the guitar. Incredible work. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Back to this melody. Yeah! Sharp cut off on those drums. Woo! Yeah! So, I, I'm obviously, like, pausing considerably less than I normally do in my analysis. The first thing that I want to talk about in this is when I was in music school, there were a lot of musicians that did stuff kind of similar to this. They had their own little, their own groups that they constantly tried to experiment and explore different ideas, musical concepts with. And one time I remember I heard a group known for the, their jazz music, but with various instruments. One guy in particular loved playing the toy piano and the accordion. He was a really Really great just pianist by himself but his accordion and toy piano playing was just it, it was so it was such a unique sound because you don't really hear those instruments a lot in that kind of music or style or just in general for that matter and they were trying to branch into they were trying to branch into symphonic metal on top of jazz and I thought that that was such a revolutionary concept I don't know how long Polyphia has been around I'll look into that in a little bit but man I, I love it when you you're able to mix these styles and just incorporate them so seamlessly into such a unique sound that but it's so technical that new listeners can love it because they just really feel the vibe and the groove and it's and it's something new that they haven't heard before but also professional musicians love it because you can really appreciate the level of depth and intricacies and in each instrument being played that unifies together into something really freaking magical wow 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 i love this and i just love their musicianship like just the fact that they are all so skilled in their instrument that they're just not focusing on all right now i gotta do this insane rift it's you're just flowing with it like obviously it's not effortless but if you as a musician are able to make something appear effortless you're doing a great job as as a performer and an artist incredible work And to do this so cleanly, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then this tonal shift. So groovy. Yeah. Just keep that vibe. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's so groovy. Yeah. And then a new tonal shift, warmer. Yeah, and those chromaticisms. Crazy stuff. Those are all 
arpeggios or broken down chords. And it just sounds like, oh, I have to listen to that again. Maybe like kind of shifting into a Locrian mode? Mixolydian mode, which are different modes of music. Like if you've heard of major and minor modes, there are plenty of other modes out there like Mixolydian, Locrian, Dorian, Ionian, etc. And they're just adding these levels and textures. And it, and it just, and it's so funky, so funky, fresh and groovy. And it just flows seamlessly with the rest of the piece. Like these don't feel like separate pieces at all. They're just flowing so naturally, even though they feel so texturally different from the rest of the piece. And I just love everything coming together to form, to coalesce into this, what feels like a masterpiece. Man, how great. Yeah. Base. Oh. Yeah. Mm. And then just back into this chilled groove. Yeah. And I and I just like that muted that muted bass at the end there. Wow. 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 That was something really special. How, how many views do they have? They have 38 million views on that video, but less than 2 million subscribers. For a group like that, nah, you need, <laughs> those are rookie numbers. You gotta get those numbers up. <laughs> wow, like that, that group, I would see them live any time in my life. Like that, that was, that was such a unique experience and I love getting that from artists and they're just feeling their groove. I, th I think the thing I love most about it isn't even so much the technical aspects of it, even though I'm obsessed with them, <laughs> but it's just, it's their vibe. It's their groove. A lot of the time they were just either around their drummer and they were all just feeling the music kind of like a jam session. And I used to be a part of jam sessions. Some of the best musical experiences of my life were done in those sessions, not even in live full performances, even though I have great memories of those too. Just those intimate settings between you and your mates. There's something really special about that. I think that's an overlooked part of music often is just coming together with your mates and just enjoying the sound that you're creating together, not being too critical of each other or whatever it is that you're ultimately attempting to produce, but just come together to really vibe with something. And it's such a human experience. It's so enriching to feel. It speaks to me as a musician because it, it highlights one of the most important aspects of music to me, which is music unifies people. And it brings people together in such a profound and intrinsically broad way in the sense of if you listen to choral music a lot of people might think well that's just really boring stuff and it could be if you think about it in that regard but something that i like to think about in choral music is i think of the duel of the fates from star wars episode one the phantom menace and just the and and it's so powerful and so moving and the idea that there's just a massive array of different voices different timbres different people all coming together to create this enormously powerful piece of music there there's something just so mind-bogglingly mystifying about it and i love that you can really create not just something that you might assume to be boring, but something really impactful and something so iconic to, to measure up to what might be happening. It's a great enhancement to visual cues, perhaps, or, or if you're just seeing the performance of the choir itself and just closing your eyes and feeling what's happening. Wow, that, that was really something remarkable and amazing. I can't wait to listen to more of their music and I'm probably gonna do that soon. So with that said, 
I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your evening. I really enjoyed this group and I can't wait to listen to more. Please leave down below if there's anything that you'd like me to discuss or analyze further. I really do want to start getting into more storytelling stuff like reacting to shows, reacting to films, and reading more stories in and of themselves. Let me know if that's something that you guys might be particularly interested in. I know that it's going to happen regardless, but the level of which those videos come out, I will definitely take your considerations into those. So with all of that said, thank you so much for being here. I deeply appreciate you being here, and I can't wait to see all of you in the next video. Have a great rest of your night, everyone.